Get all the little things out of your calendar that are eating up your day. Take them out. I gave that advice yesterday to a great realtor, someone who's been involved in the real estate business a long time, but been a realtor about a year. And this person who is off to a good start, going to have 13 sales year to date as of August, and that's pretty darn good for a new agent who's been at it a year. But I gave that advice yesterday because she said, how can I go to the next level? How can I take my business here to here? And I said, listen, you're a go-getter, you're a doer, you like to be busy, but I notice you're busy with a lot of dumb shit half the day. You know, errands and doing these things for people and all. I said, get the little things out. Focus on prospecting. Focus on setting up new business appointments. And we got talking, it was probably a 20 minute conversation and I thought about it and I said, I gotta talk to you all about it on Crushing in Real Estate because this is a habit that I see out of tons and tons of realtors. You fill your day up with stuff that's like, it, it's just not that important. It's little things, it's, it's busy body type errands and dropping things off, picking things up, um, just getting involved in stuff that you don't need to be doing. And that's a mistake that I see of many realtors. Beautiful view here, isn't it? Uh, headed home this morning, folks. Anthony Lamacchia here with Crush It in Real Estate. Want to talk to you about being in control of your schedule. You, I mean, literally, like, when you're in the real estate business, if you don't control your schedule, it will control you. If you don't control your clients, they will control you. And you have to, have to be focused on how you can do a better job at this. Um, because if you don't, you won't be successful. It's the difference between being successful and not being successful. Too many agents, they do all these little things. And, and to this particular agent, I started bringing up things this agent's done. I said, you know, you, you paid for this for your client. You did that and you, know, you ended up regretting it. I said, stop with all these little things. Your day has to revolve around calling new leads, booking new business appointments. This time of year, you should have 10 new business appointments a week, really six to 10, a week, new business appointments. Now that could be meeting a new buyer at a property to show them the property. It could be a buyer consultation, it could be a listing appointment, but it should be six to 10 new business appointments um, per week. And every single week, you should be focused on setting up those appointments. And every, by every Friday, you should have at least five or six booked for the next week. And if you don't, you should be freaking out, right? Freaking out. But instead what realtors do is, all right, today, what am I doing? I'm going to get up today and I'm going to play whack-a-mole. I'm going to run and I'm going to drive this contract up there and I'm going to open this door up over here and I'm going to go um, look at this um, kitchen material with my buyer to see if it fits for their kitchen. No, you're doing too many little things that don't matter. You need to do the activities that matter. Okay. You need to focus on the activities that matter and you've got to control your schedule. Remember what I talked about the other day, being militant with your schedule. Okay. This is in the same area, but what I'm talking about today more is, you know, not getting bogged down doing stupid shit. That's what I said yesterday to this person. So what I want you to do is think about all the time, think about, okay, is what I'm agreeing to do, is what I'm getting myself booked to do, is that a productive activity? Is that a dollar productive business creation activity? So I'm talking to this agent about this yesterday, right? I get back to my room and I Google Bob, Bob Proctor videos. And one of them that comes up is something about minutes. Bob Proctor, he talks about um, the value of a minute or something. And it was a five minute long video and it was awesome. And he broke down like, all right, how much money do you make a year? If you make 50,000 a year and you divide it out by X working hours a year, how much, you know, what does every minute cost you? If you make 100,000, you make 200,000, you make 300,000. And he broke it down. And he broke it down to like, all right, if you make 250,000 a year, then every minute costs you $2.30. I'm gonna put that video in these comments. It was awesome. And it was so funny that I saw it right after having this conversation with this agent because so many agents burn up their whole day doing things that they don't need to be doing. Like, let's say you work 10 hours in a day, right? I'm not gonna say eight, because eight's for, for, I don't know, wimps that are lazy, right? I, 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 I work eight hours by noontime, right? So let's say you work 10 hours in a day. If you work 10 in a day and you spend eight of those hours doing things that you don't necessarily need to be doing, errands and things like that, you're burning up time. Hire a damn courier. 
pay the courier $20 an hour to run contracts around and drop things off and pick things up and go put a lockbox on a property and all the, get these little things off your plate. When people say to me, how did you do it? How did you, you know, how were you able to go from here to here? That's how I did it. I made sure I was always on offense. I was always prospecting, always doing listing appointments, always doing buyer consults. That's what I focused on and that's what you have to focus on. All right, my friends, I gotta get my kids some food. We gotta pack up, we're out of here. Flights at 10, leaving the beautiful Fort Lauderdale. Look at the city, isn't that nice? Last night was incredible. We sat out here on this porch over here where my aunt is staying and we literally watched the planes fly into the airport, which is like right there is the airport. We watched the planes fly in. It was incredible. It was about every 45 seconds another plane was flying in just endlessly. And it was really cool to watch. I had never done that. So uh, anyway, check out the view. Last, last view of uh, Fort Lauderdale, right? There's the city. There's like downtown Los Olas. Went down there and got ice cream last night. It was awesome. Way over there in the distance, if you can see it, is the Hard Rock Hotel. Last night it was lighting up and it was sending like a big beam of light up into the sky, which was really cool. Miami's that away. Um, what you see there is maybe like Sunny Isles, some of those places between here and there. And here's the beach, check it out. That's the W Hotel and their pool. And there's always shit sitting out here waiting to go into port. That's all my friends, have a good day.